All right, what is good, y'all? Welcome to a new video. We got the Zoro Wrap by DPS here, which is a very exciting one. Love Zoro, one of my f probably favorite characters in anime. As sad as that is to say, honestly, considering he's such a mainstream character, gotta be one of my favorites still. He's just so fire, bro. And DPS also, awesome artist, awesome. Um, I mean, kind of in a way, like, catalyst of this channel and catalyst of this community like a lot of us reactors and a lot of the people in nerdcore probably wouldn't exist without dps i don't know why i'm saying all this right now but just shout out dps bro <laughs> anyway though um please don't take what i say too seriously in this video i'm just it's my opinion if i happen to dislike something don't take it too serious and please also do make sure to like and and leave a comment below on what you want to check out next because it really does help me out when you do that and uh, yeah, let's go. I'm excited for this. Looks like there should be something special at the end. That's exciting. Maybe like a, a screw face Jean type get in your face and talk super loud kind of thing. Like, how's it going, guys? Today we the thanks for watching my video. Blah, 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 kind of <laughs> kind of thing. I thought I doubt DPS would do that, but. We have a, a little quote from Zoro and Robin, okay. Ain't nobody really know me. Said my squad my homies. Flow like This is not the vibe I expected to start. Now I'm sure probably the bass will come in harder later, but that is not the vibe I expected. This is kinda of like a light happy vibe. Okay, I expected like bang, bang with the bass and he's like talking his shit, but this is cool. Ain't nobody really know me. Set my squad, my homies. Flow like water on this coast. They know now, Hosey Brody. Never got time for Hosey, but I ain't never lonely. The only Santa boat I gotta post it. Who I'm gonna be? Cause I just go to roll to know, but know for sure when I get there that I won't fold. No, everybody think I'm crazy. That my aim is a bit insane. That's what they think. I don't blame them. That's a nobody will remember your name. Cause we ain't built the same. Mixed flames and beat flames. I'm a pin chalk on a three blades. I can geek up when I see waves. Did you chopped up like the beat chase? Think I fell This be this. It, this is a rage beat, basically. God, like this is like a rage beat. If it was like, it's like it is a rage beat, but it's like a little bit light on like some of the bass for it to be really li like a rage beat. It's like it is a rage beat though, kind of like I don't know. I'm not explaining it well, but like this is not a DPS beat, bro. This shit is so different. Also, I I love like. I've seen this on some other people's um, edits of One Piece and stuff. I love like how the inverted colors or whatever this is going on here. Like I love how this looks with the characters in One Piece. Like it just makes them look really cool. It's not like full black and white, but it's like some kind of color, some kind of like color dampener or something. I think I probably said this like the last three DPS reactions, but I love how different this feels. And I think the fact that I've said it like a lot recently just speaks to the fact that DPS is stepping out of his comfort zone more and like not making music that like sounds very samey. And he never, it's never sounded too samey to where, you know, it's boring, but DPS has had like a very clear style in the past. And I think when they, Artist almost has like that style they're known for, but has a lot of songs that step out of it. I, th I think that's really a goal that artists should be reaching for.
Ride with my guy on our ship with our crew. Pull my calendar out, not day one and fuck you. Well, that's not true. Left some slots for day twos, but you fuck up our guac, then the guac will get pulled. Press to be the best on the set, I'm not a liar. Got the reaper on my neck, keep me setting every time. But those who coming in correct, they get they neck into a geyser. They say, F you, that I happy. You get ready for the iron, and I ride for my hitters. That don't mean we ain't got hard, cause we some killers. Man, I know, but I don't speak much on my feelings. But you know that when you need in the gorillas, that you calling on the realers. I'm a piece, way out of your reach. Should be told to see the top, but I'm way out of your peak. I heard you say that. I honestly don't know what to say about this. This is just super cool, and I'm a big fan of this. I, I do wish. I don't know. I feel like there's something more I'm looking for. Maybe like a bit more bass or maybe like him being a bit more aggressive or something some kind of switch up to be heavier in one portion to really like the part where i'm like vibing out and then i like start slamming like this kind of thing too but like i de i enjoy this a lot and this is just this is just really cool i don't know yeah and i i do like how he's referencing stuff like I, i've heard him make a few things that could be considered references but it doesn't feel i don't know it doesn't feel like too heavy on it and that's never something i've an issue with i don't really care if someone's literally telling me the story from a, a from the like from the anime as long as the song's fire like i don't really care about that part of it but like the fact that he's it sounds like such a normal song like if if i just handed this to my friend who did, like had no clue what this was and listened to it i don't think they would know or suspect at all anything which is pretty cool but you know that when you need in the gorillas that you calling on the realers i'm peace way out of your reach you should be told to see the top but i'm way out of your peak i heard you say that you're a g that means you way out of your league bitch i'm wildin on this beat i got you way out of your seat so you can see when i'm rolling on the high seat can't nobody do it like me do we stop the hustle no. I love, first off, that he did this, and secondly, how he chose to keep the chorus going and drop some of the production out sounds awesome while he's doing this. Like, that's so cool. That's fire that he did that, though. Big... Big respect to DPS for taking the time to do something like that because he he didn't need to do that. Like we all know, DPS cares about us as fans, but but he chose to put in the extra time to go and do that. So that's big respect to him. That's that's very very cool. I don't know how I feel about this ink card he's been using recently though. It's like it feels very cramped. And overfilled with stuff. I understand, you know, he wants to fit in as much as possible, but it feels like there's almost too much for me to look at. Like, especially if I'm a casual viewer who, you know, doesn't listen to every DPS song, but maybe listens to every other, or, you know, once in a while. Like, this is really a lot for me in that scenario. But um, that's a total side point. Anyway, though, I hope you guys enjoyed this reaction. Please let me know what you want me to check out next. I definitely enjoyed this song and enjoyed listening to it. I hope you guys enjoyed my reaction, and I'll see you guys later. Peace.